Hey everyone, this is a video write-up for the challenge Algebra from Seesaw CTF 2018. The prompt here is, are you a real math whiz? And it gives us a netcat connection that we can connect to. So if we go ahead and try to connect to this, it says, can you find x? x is, okay, looks like an algebraic expression there. We can solve for x. Um, and we could do this by hand each time, but it sounds like we're going to be doing this a lot. So we should try and figure out how we can automate that. Well, I have a handy dandy YouTube video tutorial series on SimPy, which is a neat and handy uh, SimPy. I don't know why it auto completed that. Thanks, Google. You suck. A Python library for symbolic mathematics. So essentially, computer algebra system solves algebraic equations, does cool stuff. Um, I'm just going to run through how to use it, uh, essentially to just solve this challenge, but I have a little bit of a, another video tutorial series that's very, very old. <laughs> Sorry, it might suck, um, but you can check that out if you want to see more of it. But it's pretty cool, Just again, just solving algebraic expressions. So let's go ahead and start up a script where we can connect to this thing and, and work with it. I'm going to create a shebang line here, user bin environment Python. Let's get just that host name set up for us. If you don't have SimPy installed, you can probably sudo pip install it. Um, if you don't have pip, sudo apt install pip. And let's import SimPy, just as I said, and from bone import all. Okay, cool. So s can equal remote with that host name and port being 902. Let's do s.close and then Let's just see what we've got to work with right up here. Let's do print s.receive, and we'll pop this over to our shell over here where we can Python ape, and looks like we get the ASCII text. So we don't need that one, but we do want to check out what s.receive up here is now after we received it. And it says, okay, two new lines, the actual equation that we need to solve, and the prompt, what does x equal? So let's save that as a variable. I don't know why, again, I, I was going to say value, but I knew I should have said variable. So, okay, let's have prompt, and then let's say um, equation can equal prompt dot split with new lines, and let's just get zero here. And then we can display the equation each time. So, looks like that's connecting just fine. Great. Let's go ahead and create a variable that we can work with with SimPy now. Let's say x can equal SimPy.Symbol, capital S for symbol, a string of the variable that we want it to be represented as, so capital X in this case. Now we can go ahead and split up the equation with both sides of the equation, the left and the right side. So let's say left right can equal equation.split on this. And now we can go ahead and try and create an equation SimPy module sense that will go ahead and evaluate this kind of thing. We could, if we wanted to, put together a SimPy.eq left and right. Let's just say, or how about eq lowercase. And we will want left and right as actual constants. So unfortunately, I would not encourage this usually. We are kind of have to be trusting the CTF challenge, which is, again, already a big bad thing in vulnerability. Um, we would normally want to run like the safe eval, or the safe expression that comes with uh, utils or pwn, pwn tools, pwn utils. Uh, you could run safe eval dot expression on left or right. But because it has x in there as a variable, it doesn't even trust that, because x could be anything. It could be remote code or, or whatever. So unfortunately, I feel bad. We are going to have to use the dangerous eval function in this case to go ahead and convert it in a quick, dirty way to something that SimPy can handle. So if we were to print out eq after we've got it, let's again display it all here. Now we have an equation that we can tell SimPy to solve it, SimPy.solve eq with our x variable. We can say answer, and let's print out answer so we know we've got something working, negative 5 for whatever that case may be. we got to index it 0 here. Perfect. So now let's go ahead and send line of the string of answer, because it's just a number here. Let's go ahead and print what we receive following that. 
let's say, okay, we got yay, keep going, and that gives us the next question. So if we wanted to loop this real quick, if we just wanted to turn the crank on it, uh, what we receive, or our prompt in each iteration, is going to essentially have the next question in the success message. So as kind of a quick patch, what I'm going to do is I'm going to test if yay, keep going, is in the prompt. Otherwise, sure, if it's the first occurrence, we can get the equation from the top line, but if yay is in there, we're gonna end up getting it from the second line. As you can see, yay, keep going is the first response line, and then the equation is the second one. So just dirty patch, CTF code, if yeah, or whatever is in the prompt, we will use the second line for our equation. If not, we'll use the equation down below. And then let's print out s.receive again just to make sure that all works. And we'll, let's go ahead and crank through it. Let's see if we don't receive and then we start after we've gotten the banner. Let's turn the crank on it while one start to loop through stuff. Let's print out our prompt so we always see what we get in case the flag is in there. And let's run through it. Looks like we get a couple, but eventually one of them one of the questions, one of the equations, one of the queries tells us, hey, that's not valid input. Remember, we only accept decimals. So it looks like this is going to end up returning a fraction for us. So SimPy is going to want to handle that as a real fraction, like an exact value, 1 over 3 or something, not a decimal. But they're only accepting decimals. So, okay, that's fine. Let's take the answer, turn it to a float before we actually turn it to a string, so we can pass along an answer just, just fine. Now let's run this, crank through it, and it's going to go through a bunch of these. Oh, okay, looks like one of them missed. That's all right. Let's try it again. Lots of crazy algebraic expressions coming out here. And as I am testing this over and over, I'm finding cases where we're getting what could be a complex equation, and Senpai's not easily handling that uh, easily handling that. So uh, what I'm going to end up trying is actually just trying the script over and over again until we actually hit the flag. Unless we just get lucky and finally have something that doesn't give us a complex system. After a little bit of hard fuzzing, uh, we got it. Didn't take too, too long. I realize it's probably not the most elegant solution, just kind of waiting on when we actually uh, get lucky and don't hit any complex solutions or whatever the case may be, but we do get the flag. So let's go ahead and save that. We could submit it for the points, win some win some prizes or whatever, but uh, that's it. That's that challenge. Senpai, super cool module to solve algebraic expressions. Uh, keep that in mind. Keep that in your toolkit, in your arsenal, but uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Quick special shout out to the people that support me on Patreon. Thank you guys so much. I can't say it enough. Uh, this list keeps growing, and that's just incredible. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can't say it enough. $1 a month on Patreon will give you a special shout out just like this at the end of every video, just to make you feel good, like you're helping, like you're supporting, helping the channel grow. Thank you. <laughs> $5 a month on Patreon will give you early access to everything that I release on YouTube before it goes live. So I like to record in bulk and then let YouTube gradually like release things on a scheduled basis. But if you want stuff right away, right when it's done recording, this is the best way to do it. Just $5 a month on Patreon. If you did like this video, please do a like, comment, and subscribe. If you are willing to join our Discord server, please do. Link in the description. Cool community full of CTF players, programmers, and hackers. If you want to hang out with me or other awesome people, that's the place to do it. We like to team up for some CTFs where we can, like Seesaw this itself, where we're, we're, if we don't have a team cap size, we'll just all go in hard. Uh, if there is a little bit of a team cap size, we kind of just divide into some subcomponents and we'll have group chats, and it's it's just fine. It's a cool CTF work camp. So we're going to be tackling Seesaw Red this weekend and Pico CTF as it comes live. So it's a great thing. Come join the party. I'll personally greet and welcome you if I'm awake <laughs> and alive. So thanks again, guys. Hope to see you on Patreon. Hope to see you in the next video. Love you. Bye.